Nanjing, listen, alternately romanized as Nanking and Nankin, is the capital of Jiangsu Province of the People's Republic of China and the second largest city in the East China region, with an administrative area of 6,600 square kilometers (2,500 square miles) and a total population of 8,270,500 as of 2016. The inner area of Nanjing enclosed by the city wall is Nanjing City, Nanjing Cheng with an area of 55 square kilometers, 21 square miles, while the Nanjing metropolitan region includes surrounding cities and areas covering over 60,000 square kilometers, 23,000 square miles with a population of over 30 million. Situated in the Yangtze River Delta region, Nanjing has a prominent place in Chinese history and culture, having served as the capital of various Chinese dynasties, kingdoms and republican governments dating from the 3rd century to 1949, and has thus long been a major center of culture, education, research, politics, economy, transport networks and tourism, being the home to one of the world's largest inland ports. The city is also one of the 15 sub-provincial cities in the People's Republic of China's administrative structure, enjoying jurisdictional and economic autonomy only slightly less than that of a province. Nanjing has been ranked seventh in the evaluation of cities with strongest comprehensive strength, issued by the National Statistics Bureau, and second in the evaluation of cities with most sustainable development potential in the Yangtze River Delta. It has also been awarded the title of 2008 Habitat Scroll of Honor of China, Special UN Habitat Scroll of Honor Award and National Civilized City. Nanjing has many high-quality universities and research institutes, with the number of universities listed in 100 national key universities ranking third, including Nanjing University which has a long history and is among the world top 10 universities ranked by Nature Index. The ratio of college students to total population ranks number one among large cities nationwide. Nanjing is one of the top three Chinese scientific research centers, according to the Nature Index, especially strong in the chemical sciences. Nanjing, one of the nation's most important cities for over a thousand years, is recognized as one of the four great ancient capitals of China. It has been one of the world's largest cities, enjoying peace and prosperity despite wars and disasters. Nanjing served as the capital of Eastern Wu (229 to 280), one of the three major states in the Three Kingdoms period, the Eastern Jin and each of the Southern Dynasties (Lu Song, Southern Qi, Liang, and Chen), which successively ruled Southern China from 317 to 589, the Southern Tang (937 to 75), one of the Ten Kingdoms, the Ming Dynasty. When, for the first time, all of China was ruled from the city (1368 to 1421) and the Republic of China (1927 to 37, 1946). To 49, prior to its flight to Taiwan during the Chinese Civil War. The city also served as the seat of the rebel Taiping Heavenly Kingdom 1853 and the Japanese puppet regime of Wang Jingwei 1940 during the Second Sino-Japanese War. It suffered severe atrocities in both conflicts, including the Nanjing Massacre. Nanjing has served as the capital city of Jiangsu Province since the establishment of the People's Republic of China. It has many important heritage sites, including the Presidential Palace and Sun Yat-sen Mausoleum. Nanjing is famous for human historical landscapes, mountains and waters such as Fuzhou Miao, Ming Palace, Chaoshan Palace, Porcelain Tower, Drum Tower, Stone City, City Wall, Qinhuai River, Shanwu Lake and Purple Mountain. Key cultural facilities include Nanjing Library, Nanjing Museum and Nanjing Art Museum. Topic. Names. The city has a number of other names, and some historical names are now used as names of districts of the city, among them there is the name Jiangning or Qiangning, Jiangning whose former character Jiang, Jiang Yangtze is the former part of the name Jiangsu and latter character Ning, Ning simplified form Ning, Peace is the short name of Nanjing. When it was the capital of China, for instance during the rock, Jing, Jing capital was adopted as the abbreviation of Nanjing. The city first became a Chinese national capital as early as the Jin dynasty. The name Nanjing, which means, Southern Capital, from the Chinese characters Nan for South and Jing for Capital, was officially designated for the city during the Ming Dynasty, about 600 years later. Nanjing is particularly known as Jinling or Ginling, Jinling Gold Hill, and the old name has been used since the Warring States period in the Zhou Dynasty. History Early history and foundation Archaeological discovery shows that, "...Nanjing Man", lived more than 500,000 years ago. 
Zun, a kind of wine vessel, was found to exist in Bianyangying culture of Nanjing in about 5,000 years ago. In the late period of Shang dynasty, Taibo of Zhou came to Jiangnan and established Wu State, and the first stop is in Nanjing area according to some historians based on discoveries in Taowu and Hushu culture. According to a legend quoted by an artist in Ming dynasty, Chen Yi, Fuai, king of the state of Wu, founded a fort named Yecheng in today's Nanjing area in 495 BC. Later in 473 BC, the state of Yue conquered Wu and constructed the fort of Yucheng Yue Cheng on the outskirts of the present-day Zhonghua Gate. In 333 BC, after eliminating the state of Yue, the state of Chu built Jinling Yi, Jinling Yi in the western part of present-day Nanjing. It was renamed Moling, Moling during the reign of the first emperor of Qin. Since then, the city experienced destruction and renewal many times. The area was successively part of Kuaji, Zhang and Danyang prefectures in Qin and Han dynasty, and part of Yangzhou region which was established as the nation's 13 supervisory and administrative regions in the fifth year of Yuanfeng in Han dynasty 106 BC. Nanjing was later the capital city of Danyang Prefecture, and had been the capital city of Yangzhou for about 400 years from late Han to early Tang. Topic: <laughs> Capital of the Six Dynasties. Nanjing first became a state capital in AD 229, when the state of Eastern Wu founded by Sun Quan during the Three Kingdoms period relocated its capital to Jiari, Jianyi the city extended on the basis of Jinlingyi in AD 211. Although conquered by the Western Jin dynasty in 280, Nanjing and its neighboring areas had been well cultivated and developed into one of the commercial, cultural and political centers of China during the rule of Eastern Wu. This city would soon play a vital role in the following centuries. Shortly after the unification of the region, the Western Jin dynasty collapsed. First the rebellions by eight Jin princes for the throne and later rebellions and invasion from Xiongnu and other nomadic peoples that destroyed the rule of the Jin dynasty in the north. In 317, remnants of the Jin court, as well as nobles and wealthy families, fled from the north to the south and re-established the Jin court in Nanjing, which was then called Jiankang, Jiankang replacing Luoyang. This marked the first time a Chinese dynastic capital moved to southern China. During the period of North-South Division, Nanjing remained the capital of the Southern Dynasties for more than two and a half centuries. During this time, Nanjing was the international hub of East Asia. Based on historical documents, the city had 280,000 registered households. Assuming an average Nanjing household consisted of about 5.1 people, the city had more than 1.4 million residents. A number of sculptural ensembles of that era, erected at the tombs of royals and other dignitaries, have survived in various degrees of preservation in Nanjing's northeastern and eastern suburbs, primarily in Kixia and Jiangning district. Possibly the best preserved of them is the ensemble of the tomb of Coxiu, 475 to 518, a brother of Emperor Wu of Liang. Six dynasties is a collective term for six Chinese dynasties mentioned above, which all maintained national capitals at Jiankang. The six dynasties were Eastern Wu, 222 to 280, Eastern Jin Dynasty, 317 to 420, and four Southern Dynasties, 420 to 589. Topic. Destruction and revival The period of division ended when the Sui dynasty reunified China and almost destroyed the entire city, turning it into a small town. The city of Nanjing was raised after the Sui dynasty took it over, it was renamed Shengzhou in the Tang dynasty and resuscitated during the late Tang. It was chosen as the capital and called Jinling, Jinling during the southern Tang 937 a state that succeeded Wu state. It was renamed Jiangning, Jiangning in the Northern Song Dynasty and renamed Jiankang in the Southern Song Dynasty. Jiankang's textile industry burgeoned and thrived during the Song Dynasty despite the constant threat of foreign invasions from the north by the Jurchen-led Jin Dynasty. The court of Dachu, a short-lived puppet state established by the Jurchens, and the court of Song were once in the city. Song was eventually exterminated by the Mongol Empire under the name Yuan and in the Yuan Dynasty the city's status as a hub of the textile industry was further consolidated. Southern capital of Ming dynasty The first emperor of the Ming dynasty, Zhu Yuanzhang the Hongwu emperor, who overthrew the Yuan dynasty, renamed the city Yingshan, Yingtian rebuilt it, and made it the dynastic capital in 1368. 
he constructed a 48 kilometers 30 miles long city wall around Yingshan, as well as a new Ming Palace complex, and government halls. It took 200,000 laborers 21 years to finish the project. The present-day city wall of Nanjing was mainly built during that time and today it remains in good condition and has been well preserved. It is among the longest surviving city walls in China. The Jiawen Emperor ruled from 1398 to 1402. It is believed that Nanjing was the largest city in the world from 1358 to 1425 with a population of 487,000 in 1400. In 1421, the Yongle Emperor relocated the capital to Beijing. The city began to be called the Southern Capital Nanjing, Nanjing in comparison to the capital in the north. His successor, the Hongxi Emperor, wished to revert the relocation of the imperial capital from Nanjing to Beijing that had happened during the Yongle reign. On 24 February 1425, he appointed Admiral Zheng He as the defender of Nanjing and ordered him to continue his command over the Ming treasure fleet for the city's defenses. Zheng He governed the city with three eunuchs for internal matters and two military noblemen for external matters, awaiting the Hongxi Emperor's return along with the military establishment from the north. The emperor died on 29 May 1425 before this could have taken place, so Beijing remained the de facto capital and Nanjing remained the secondary capital. The succeeding Shande Emperor remained in Beijing, so the aforementioned Nanjing government eventually became a permanent institution. In official Ming documents of 1425 to 1441, Nanjing was designated as the capital and Beijing was designated as the temporary capital. In 1441, Emperor Yingzong ordered to not to prefix the word provisional Xingzai on the Beijing government seals any longer, while Nanjing's need to prefix Nanjing for distinguishing purposes remained. Hence, Nanjing still had itself imperial government with extremely limited power before 1644. Besides the city wall, other Ming-era structures in the city included the famous Ming Shaoling Mausoleum and Porcelain Tower, although the latter was destroyed by the Taipings in the 19th century either in order to prevent a hostile faction from using it to observe and shell the city or from superstitious fear of its geomantic properties, a monument to the huge human cost of some of the gigantic construction projects of the early Ming dynasty is the Yangshan Quarry located some 15 to 20 kilometers 9 to 12 miles east of the walled city and Ming Shaoling Mausoleum, where a gigantic stele, cut on the orders of the the Yongle Emperor, lies abandoned, just as it was left 600 years ago when it was understood it was impossible to move or complete it. As the center of the empire, early Ming Nanjing had worldwide connections. It was home of the Admiral Zheng He, who went to sail the Pacific and Indian Oceans, and it was visited by foreign dignitaries, such as a king from Borneo, Bo Ni Boni, who died during his visit to China in 1408. The tomb of the King of Boni, with a spirit way and a tortoise stele, was discovered in Yuhuatai district south of the walled city in 1958, and has been restored, over two centuries after the removal of the capital to Beijing, Nanjing was destined to become the capital of a Ming emperor one more time. After the fall of Beijing to Li Zicheng's rebel forces and then to the Manchu-led Qing dynasty in the spring of 1644, the Ming prince Zhu Yusong was enthroned in Nanjing in June 1644 as the Hongguang emperor. His short reign was described by later historians as the first reign of the so-called Southern Ming Dynasty. Zhu Yusong, however, fared a lot worse than his ancestor Zhu Yuangzhang three centuries earlier. Beset by factional conflicts, his regime could not offer effective resistance to Qing forces, when the Qing army, led by the Manchu prince Dodo approached Jiangnan the next spring. Days after Yang Zhao fell to the Manchus in late May 1645, the Hongguang emperor fled Nanjing, and the imperial Ming palace was looted by local residents. On June 6, Dodo's troops approached Nanjing, and the commander of the city's garrison, Zhao the Earl of Xincheng, promptly surrendered the city to them. The Manchus soon ordered all male residents of the city to shave their heads in the Manchu Q way. They requisitioned a large section of the city for the Bannerman's cantonment, and occupied the former imperial Ming palace, but otherwise the city was spared the mass murders and destruction that befell Yang Zhao. Despite capturing many counties in his initial attack due to surprise and having the initiative, Coxinger announced the final battle in Nanjing in 1659 ahead of time giving plenty of time for the king to prepare because he wanted a decisive, single grand showdown like his father successfully did against the Dutch at the Battle of Lialuo Bay, throwing away the surprise and initiative which led to its failure. Coxinger's attack on King held Nanjing which would interrupt the supply route of the Grand Canal leading to possible starvation in Beijing caused such fear that the Manchus Tartars considered returning to Manchuria Tartary and abandoning China according to a 1671 account by a French missionary. The commoners and officials in Beijing and Nanjing were waiting to support whichever side won. 
An official from King Beijing sent letters to family and another official in Nanjing, telling them all communication and news from Nanjing to Beijing had been cut off, that the king were considering abandoning Beijing and moving their capital far away to a remote location for safety since Koxinga's iron troops were rumored to be invincible. The letter said it reflected the grim situation being felt in King Beijing. The official told his children in Nanjing to prepare to defect to Koxinga which he himself was preparing to do. Koxinga's forces intercepted these letters and after reading them Koxinga may have started to regret his deliberate delays allowing the king to prepare for a final massive battle instead of swiftly attacking Nanjing. Koxinga's Ming loyalists fought against a majority Han Chinese Bannerman King army when attacking Nanjing. The siege lasted almost three weeks, beginning on August 24. Koxinga's forces were unable to maintain a complete encirclement, which enabled the city to obtain supplies and even reinforcements though cavalry attacks by the city's forces were successful even before reinforcements arrived. Coxinger's forces were defeated and slipped back, Wakeman's phrase, to the ships which had brought them. <laughs> Qing Dynasty and Taiping Rebellion Under the Qing Dynasty 1644 to 1911, the Nanjing area was known as Jiangning and served as the seat of government for the Viceroy of Liangjiang. It was the site of a Qing army garrison. It had been visited by the Kangxi and Qinlong emperors a number of times on their tours of the southern provinces. Nanjing was threatened to be invaded by British troops during the close of the First Opium War, which was ended by the Treaty of Nanking in 1842. As the capital of the brief-lived rebel Taiping Heavenly Kingdom in the mid-19th century, Nanjing was known as Tianjing, Tianjing Heavenly Capital, or Capital of Heaven. The rebellion destroyed most of the former Ming imperial buildings in the city, including the porcelain tower of Nanjing. Both the Qing Viceroy and the Taiping King resided in buildings that would later be known as the Presidential Palace. When Qing forces led by Zheng Guofan retook the city in 1864, a massive slaughter occurred in the city with over 100,000 estimated to have committed suicide or fought to the death. Since the Taiping Rebellion began, Qing forces allowed no rebels speaking its dialect to surrender. This systematic mass murder of civilians occurred in Nanjing. The New York Methodist Mission Society's superintendent, Virgil Hart, arrived in Nanking in 1881. After some time, he eventually thwarted its officials by buying a piece of property near the South Gate and Confucius Temple to build the city's first Methodist church, Western Hospital, Blackstone Methodist Hospital, and Boys' School. The hospital would later be unified with the Drum Tower Hospital, and the Boys' School would be expanded by later missionaries to become the University of Nanking and Medical School. The old mission property would become the number 13 middle school, the city's oldest, continuous school grounds in the city. <laughs> Capital of the Republic and Nanking Massacre The Xinhai Revolution led to the founding of the Republic of China in January 1912 with Sun Yat-sen as the first provisional president and Nanjing was selected as its new capital. However, the Qing Empire controlled large regions to the north, so revolutionaries asked Yuan Shikai to replace Sun as president in exchange for the abdication of Puyi, the last emperor. Yuan demanded the capital be Beijing closer to his power base. In 1927, the Kuomintang KMT, Nationalist Party, under Generalissimo Chiang Kai-shek again established Nanjing as the capital of the Republic of China, and this became internationally recognized once KMT forces took Beijing in 1928. The following decade is known as the Nanking Decade. During this decade, Nanjing was of symbolic and strategic importance. The Ming Dynasty had made Nanjing a capital, the Republic had been established there in 1912, and Sun Yat-sen's provisional government had been there. Sun's body was brought and placed in a grand mausoleum to cement Chiang's legitimacy. Chiang was born in the neighboring province of Zhejiang and the general area had strong popular support for him. In 1927, the nationalist government proposed a comprehensive planning proposal, the Capital Plan, Shou Dao Jihua to reconstruct the war-torn city of Nanjing into a modern capital. It was a decade of extraordinary growth with an enormous amount of construction. A lot of government buildings, residential houses, and modern public infrastructures were built. During this boom, Nanjing reputedly became one of the most modern cities in China. In 1937, the Empire of Japan started a full-scale invasion of China after invading Manchuria in 1931, beginning the Second Sino-Japanese War often considered a theater of World War II. Their troops occupied Nanjing in December and carried out the systematic and brutal Nanking Massacre the Rape of Nanking. 
Even children, the elderly, and nuns are reported to have suffered at the hands of the Imperial Japanese Army. The total death toll, including estimates made by the International Military Tribunal for the Far East and the Nanjing War Crimes Tribunal after the atomic bombings, was between 300,000 and 350,000. The city itself was also severely damaged during the massacre. The Nanjing Massacre Memorial Hall was built in 1985 to commemorate this event. A few days before the fall of the city, the national government of China was relocated to the southwestern city Chongqing and resumed Chinese resistance. In 1940, a Japanese collaborationist government known as the Nanjing Regime, or Reorganized National Government of China, led by Wang Jingwei was established in Nanjing as a rival to Chiang Kai-shek's government in Chongqing. In 1946, after the surrender of Japan, the KMT relocated its central government back to Nanjing. Topic: <laughs> Chinese Civil War and People's Republic. On 21 April 1949, Communist forces crossed the Yangtze River. On April 23, the Communist People's Liberation Army PLA captured Nanjing. The KMT government retreated to Canton Guangzhou until October 15, Chongqing until November 25, and then Chengdu before retreating to the island of Taiwan on December 10 where Taipei was proclaimed the temporary capital of the Republic of China. By late 1949, the PLA was pursuing remnants of KMT forces southwards in southern China, and only Tibet and Hainan Island were left. After the establishment of the People's Republic of China in October 1949, Nanjing was initially a province-level municipality, but it was soon merged into Jiangsu Province and again became the provincial capital by replacing Zhenjiang which was transferred in 1928, and retains that status to this day. Topic. Geography Nanjing, with a total land area of 6,598 square kilometers 2,548 square miles, is situated in the heartland of the drainage area of the lower reaches of the Yangtze River, and in the Yangtze River Delta, one of the largest economic zones of China. The Yangtze River flows past the west side and then the north side of Nanjing City, while the Ningzheng Ridge surrounds the north, east and south sides of the city. The city is 650 kilometers, 400 miles southeast of Luoyang, 1200 kilometers, 750 miles south southeast of Beijing, 300 kilometers, 190 miles west northwest of Shanghai, and 1400 kilometers, 870 miles east northeast of Chongqing. The Yangtze River flows downstream from Zhujiang, Jiangxi, through Enwei and Jiangsu to the East China Sea. The northern part of the lower Yangtze drainage basin is the Huai River Basin and the southern part is the Zhe River Basin, they are connected by the Grand Canal east of Nanjing. The area around Nanjing is called Ziajiang, Chiajiang downstream river region, with Jiangwei dominant in the northern part and Jiangxi dominant in the southern part. The region is also well known as Dongyan, Dongnan southeast, the southeast, and Jiangnan, Jiangnan, and River South, south of Yangtze. Nanjing borders Yangzhou to the northeast, one town downstream when following the north bank of the Yangtze, Zhenjiang to the east, one town downstream when following the south bank of the Yangtze, and Changzhou to the southeast. On its western boundary is Enwei Province, where Nanjing borders five prefecture level cities Chuzhou to the northwest, Wuhu, Chaohu, and Manchin to the west, and Shancheng to the southwest. Nanjing is at the intersection of the Yangtze River, an east west water transport artery, and the Nanjing Beijing Railway, a north south land transport artery, hence the name Door of the East and West, Throat of the South and North. Furthermore, the west part of the Ningzhen Range is in Nanjing. The Long Like Zhong Mountain curls round the east side of the city, while the Tiger Like Stone Mountain crouches in the west of the city, hence the name the Zhong Mountain, a dragon curling, and the Stone Mountain, a tiger crouching. <laughs> Climate and environment Nanjing has a humid subtropical climate and is under the influence of the East Asian monsoon. The four seasons are distinct, with damp conditions seen throughout the year, very hot and muggy summers, cold, damp winters, and in between, spring and autumn are of reasonable length. Along with Chongqing and Wuhan, Nanjing is traditionally referred to as one of the three furnace-like cities along the Yangtze River for the perennially high temperatures in the summertime. However, the time from mid-June to the end of July is the plum blossom blooming season in which the Mayu rainy season of East Asia, literally, plum rain occurs, during which the city experiences a period of mild rain as well as dampness. 
Typhoons are uncommon but possible in the late stages of summer and early part of autumn. The annual mean temperature is around 15.91 degrees Celsius .6 degrees Fahrenheit, with the monthly 24-hour average temperature ranging from 2.7 degrees Celsius .9 degrees Fahrenheit in January to 28.1 degrees Celsius .6 degrees Fahrenheit in July. Extremes since 1951 have ranged from minus 14.0 degrees Celsius, 7 degrees Fahrenheit, on the 6th of January 1955 to 40.7 degrees Celsius, 105 degrees Fahrenheit, on the 22nd of August 1959. On average, precipitation falls 115 days out of the year, and the average annual rainfall is 1,090 mm, 43 in. With monthly percent possible sunshine ranging from 37% in March to 52% in August, the city receives 1,926 hours of bright sunshine annually. Nanjing is endowed with rich natural resources, which include more than 40 kinds of minerals. Among them, iron and sulfur reserves make up 40% of those of Jiangsu Province. Its reserves of strontium rank first in East Asia and the Southeast Asia region. Nanjing also possesses abundant water resources, both from the Yangtze River and groundwater. In addition, it has several natural hot springs such as Tangshan Hot Spring in Jiangning and Tangquan Hot Spring in Pukou. Sun Yat-sen once summarized and lauded the feature of Nanjing in his book The International Development of China, Jian Guofang Lu Nanking was the old capital of China before Peking, and is situated in a fine locality which comprises high mountains, deep water and a vast level plain—a rare site to be found in any part of the world. It also lies at the center of a very rich country on both sides of the Lower Yangtze. Nanjing Weizhong Guogu Dao Zai Bei Jing Zhi Qian Er Qi Wei Zhi Nai Zai Yi Mei Shan Zhi De Ku Qi De Yu Gao Shan Yu Shen Shui Yu Ping Yu An Qi San Zhong Tian Gong Zhong Yu Yi Chu Zai Shi Ji Zhong Zhi Da Dao Shi Cheng Nan Mi Ru Qi Ji A Jing Yi Er Yu Chi Ju Zhang Ji Ang Chi Yu Liang and Zui Feng Fu Ku Yu Zhi Zhong Sin To be more exact, surrounded by the Yangtze River and mountains, the urban area of the city enjoys its scenic natural environment. Shanwu Lake and Moku Lake are located in the center of the city and are easily accessible to the public, while Purple Mountain is covered with deciduous and coniferous forests preserving various historical and cultural sites. Meanwhile, a Yangtze River deep water channel is under construction to enable Nanjing to handle the navigation of 50,000 DWT vessels from the East China Sea. <laughs> Cityscape Topic. Environmental issues Topic. Air pollution in 2013 A dense wave of smog began in the central and east parts of China on 2 December 2013 across a distance of around 1,200 kilometers (750 miles), including Tianjin, Hebei, Shandong, Jiangsu, Enwei, Shanghai and Zhejiang. A lack of cold airflow, combined with slow-moving air masses carrying industrial emissions, collected airborne pollutants to form a thick layer of smog over the region. The heavy smog heavily polluted central and southern Jiangsu province, especially in and around Nanjing, with its AQI pollution index at severely polluted for five straight days and heavily polluted for nine. On 3 December 2013, levels of PM2.5 particulate matter average over 943 micrograms per cubic meter, falling to over 338 micrograms per cubic meter on 4 December 2013. Between 3 p.m., 3 December and 2 p.m., 4 December local time, several expressways from Nanjing to other Jiangsu cities were closed, stranding dozens of passenger buses in Zhongyangmen bus station. From 5 to 6 December, Nanjing issued a red alert for air pollution and closed down all kindergarten through middle schools. Children's hospital outpatient services increased by 33%, general incidence of bronchitis, pneumonia, upper respiratory tract infections significantly increased. The smog dissipated 12 December. Officials blamed the dense pollution on lack of wind, automobile exhaust emissions under low air pressure, and coal-powered district heating system in North China. Prevailing winds blew low-hanging air masses of factory emissions mostly SO2 towards China's east coast. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Government. At present, the full name of the government of Nanjing is People's Government of Nanjing City, and the city is under the one-party rule of the CPC, with the CPC Nanjing Committee Secretary as the de facto governor of the city and the mayor as the executive head of the government working under the secretary. Topic. 
Topic: Administrative divisions. The sub-provincial city of Nanjing is divided into 11 districts. Topic: Demographics. At the time of the 2010 census, the total population of the city of Nanjing was 8.005 million. The OECD estimated the encompassing metropolitan area at the time as 11.7 million. Official statistics in 2011 estimated the city's population to be 8.11 million. The birth rate was 8.86% and the death rate was 6.88%. The urban area had a population of 6.47 million people. The sex ratio of the city population was 107.31 males to 100 females. As in most of eastern China, the official ethnic makeup of Nanjing is predominantly Ha nationality, 98.56%, with 50 other official ethnic groups. In 1999, 77,394 residents belonged to officially defined minorities, among which the vast majority, 64,832, were Hui, contributing 83.76% to the minority population. The second and third largest minority groups were Manchu 2311 and Zhuang 533. Most of the minority nationalities resided in GRE district, comprising 9.13% of the district's population. Topic: <inaudible> Economy. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Earlier development. There was a massive cultivating in the area of Nanjing from the Three Kingdoms period to southern dynasties. The sparse population led to land as royal rewards were granted for rules people. At first, the landless peasants benefited from it, then the senior officials and aristocratic families. Since large numbers of immigrants flooded into the area, reclamation was quite common in its remote parts, which promoted its agricultural development. The craft industries, by contrast, had a faster growth. Especially the textile section, there were about 200,000 craftsmen by the late king. Several dynasties established their imperial textiles bureaus in Nanjing. The Nanjing Brocade Nanjing Yunjin is their exquisite product as the cloth for the royal garments such as dragon robes. Meanwhile, the satins from Nanjing were called tribute satins. Gongduan. Because they were usually paid as tribute to the monarchy. Besides, minting, papermaking, shipbuilding grew initially since the Three Kingdoms period. As Nanjing was the capital of the Ming dynasty, the industries further expanded, where both state-owned and numerous private businesses served the imperial court. Several place names in Nanjing remains witness them, such as Wangjinshi, Wangjinshi the market sells Wangjin, Gailang, Guyilang the corridor for garments bargain, Yufangqiao, Yufangqiao the bridge near an oil mill. Moreover, the trade in Nanjing was also flourishing. The Ming Dynasty drawing Prosperous Nanjing, Nandao Fan Hui Tu Wan Nandu Fanwei Tu Juan depicts a vivid market scene bustling with people and full of various sorts of shops. However, the economic developments were almost wiped out by the Taiping Rebellion's catastrophe. <laughs> <laughs> Modern times Into the first half of the 20th century after the establishment of ROC, Nanjing gradually shifted from being a production hub towards being a heavy consumption city, mainly because of the rapid expansion of its wealthy population after Nanjing once again regained the political spotlight of China. A number of huge department stores such as Zhongyang Shangchang sprouted up, attracting merchants from all over China to sell their products in Nanjing. In 1933, the revenue generated by the food and entertainment industry in the city exceeded the sum of the output of the manufacturing and agriculture industry. One third of the city population worked in the service industry. In the 1950s after PRC was established by CPC, the government invested heavily in the city to build a series of state-owned heavy industries, as part of the National Plan of Rapid Industrialization, converting it into a heavy industry production center of East China. Overenthusiastic in building a world-class industrial city, the government also made many disastrous mistakes during development, such as spending hundreds of millions of yuan to mine for non-existent coal, resulting in negative economic growth in the late 1960s. From the 1960s to 1980s there were five pillar industries, namely, electronics, cars, petrochemical, iron and steel, and power, each with big state-owned firms. 
After the reform and opening recovering market economy, the state-owned enterprises found themselves incapable of competing with efficient multinational firms and local private firms, hence were either mired in heavy debt or forced into bankruptcy or privatization and this resulted in large numbers of layoff workers who were technically not unemployed but effectively jobless. Topic today The current economy of the city is basically newly developed based on the past. Service industries are dominating, accounting for about 60% of the GDP of the city, and financial industry, culture industry and tourism industry are top three of them. Industries of information technology, energy saving and environmental protection, new energy, smart power grid and intelligent equipment manufacturing have become pillar industries. Big civilian-run enterprise include Sunning Commerce, Urin, Sanpower, Fujong, Hitecker, Five Stars, Jinpu, Tiandi, CTTQ Pharmaceutical, Nanjing Iron and Steel Company and Simchair Pharmaceutical. Big state-owned firms include Panda Electronics, Yangtze Petrochemical, Jinling Petrochemical, Nanjing Chemical, Jincheng Motors, Jinling Pharmaceutical, Chengguang and Nari. The city has also attracted foreign investment, multinational firms such as Siemens, Ericsson, Volkswagen, Iveco, AO. Smith, and Sharp have established their lines, and a number of multinationals such as Ford, IBM, Lucent, Samsung and SAP established research center there. Many China-based leading firms such as Huawei, ZTE and Lenovo have key R&D institutes in the city. Nanjing is an industrial technology research and development hub, hosting many R&D centers and institutions, especially in areas of electronics technology, information technology, computer software, biotechnology and pharmaceutical technology and new material technology. In recent years, Nanjing has been developing its economy, commerce, industry, as well as city construction. In 2013 the city's GDP was RMB 801 billion third in Jiangsu, and GDP per capita current price was RMB 98,174 an 11% increase from 2012. The average urban residents' disposable income was RMB 36,200, while the average rural residents' net income was RMB 14,513. The registered urban unemployment rate was 3.02%, lower than the national average 4.3%. Nanjing's gross domestic product ranked 12th in 2013 in China, and its overall competence ranked 6th in mainland and 8th including Taiwan and Hong Kong in 2009. Industrial zones There are a number of industrial zones in Nanjing. Nanjing New and High Tech Industry Development Zone Nanjing Baixia High Tech Industrial Zone Nanjing Economic and Technological Development Zone Topic Transportation Nanjing is the transportation hub in eastern China and the downstream Yangtze River area Different means of transportation constitute a three-dimensional transport system that includes land water and air As in most other Chinese cities public transportation is the dominant mode of travel of the majority of the citizens as of October 2014, Nanjing had four bridges and two tunnels over the Yangtze River, which are tying districts north of the river with the city center on the south bank. Rail Nanjing is an important railway hub in eastern China. It serves as rail junction for the Beijing-Shanghai which is itself composed of the old Jinpu and Huning Railways, Nanjing Tongling Railway Ningtong, Nanjing Kidong Ningqi, and the Nanjing Xi'an which encompasses the Hefei-Nanjing Railway. Nanjing is connected to the National High-Speed Railway Network by Beijing-Shanghai High-Speed Railway and Shanghai-Wuhan Chengdu Passenger Dedicated Line, with several more high-speed rail lines under construction. Among all 17 railway stations in Nanjing, passenger rail service is mainly provided by Nanjing Railway Station and Nanjing South Railway Station, while other stations like Nanjing West Railway Station, Zhongwaman Railway Station and Zhanlin Railway Station serve minor roles. Nanjing Railway Station was first built in 1968. On November 12, 1999, the station was burnt in a serious fire. Reconstruction of the station was finished on September 1, 2005. Nanjing South Railway Station, which is one of the five hub stations on Beijing-Shanghai High-Speed Railway, has officially been claimed as the largest railway station in Asia and the second largest in the world in terms of GFA gross floor area. Construction of Nanjing South Station began on 10 January 2008. The station was opened for public service in 2011. Road. 
As an important regional hub in the Yangtze River Delta, Nanjing is well connected by over 60 state and provincial highways to all parts of China. Express highways such as Hu Ning, Ninghe, Ninghang enable commuters to travel to Shanghai, Hefei, Hangzhou, and other important seas quickly and conveniently. Inside the city of Nanjing, there are 230 kilometers (140 miles) of highways with a highway coverage density of 3.38 kilometers per 100 square kilometers (5.44 miles, 100 square miles). The total road coverage density of the city is 112.56 km per 100 square kilometers, 181.15 miles, 100 square miles. The two artery roads in Nanjing are Zhongshan Road and Hanjong. The two roads cross in the city center, Xinjiaku. Expressways G plus XXXX, National Express, Guo Jiagao Su S plus XX, Shengji Gao Su G25 Changchun Shenzhen Expressway. Jiangshen Gaosu Huo Ning Hang Gaosu G36 Nanjing Luoyang Expressway, Ning Luo Gaosu G40 Shanghai Xi'an Expressway, Hu Shan Gaosu G42 Shanghai Chengdu Expressway, Hu Rong Gaosu Huo Hu Ning Gaosu G4211 Nanjing Wuhu Expressway, a spur of G42 that extends west to Wuhu, Enwei, Ning Wu Gaosu S55 Nanjing Gaokan Shancheng Expressway. Ningxuan Gaosu Huo Nanjing Jichang Gaosu S38 Yanjiang Expressway, Yanjiang Gaosu Huo Changhe Gaosu G2501 Nanjing Ring Expressway, Sin Nanjing Rao Cheng Gaosu Huo Nanjing Rao Yue Gaosu S001 Nanjing Ring Highway, Ju Nanjing Rao Cheng Gaosu Huo Nanjing Rao Cheng Gong Lu National Highway G1XX, which starts from Beijing, G2XX North South, G3XX West East, China National Highway 104. Motorists can either drive northwest to Beijing or south to Fuzhou, Fujian. China National Highway 205 Motorists can either drive north to Shanheiguan, Hebei, or south to Shenzhen, Guangzhou. China National Highway 312 Motorists can either drive east to Shanghai or west to Korgas, Xinjiang on the Kazakh border. China National Highway 328 Nanjing is the western terminus of G328, which motorists can follow to Hai'an County in eastern Jiangsu. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Public transportation. The city also boasts an efficient network of public transportation, which mainly consists of bus, taxi, and metro systems. The bus network, which is currently run by three companies since 2011, provides more than 370 routes covering all parts of the city and suburban areas. At present, the Nanjing Metro system has a grand total of 377 kilometers (234 miles) of route and 173 stations across 10 lines. They are Line 1, Line 2, Line 3, Line 4, Line 10, Line S1, Line S3, Line S7, Line S8, and Line S9. The city is planning to complete a 17-line metro and light rail system by 2030. The expansion of the metro network will greatly facilitate the intracity transportation and reduce the currently heavy traffic congestion. <laughs> Air Nanjing's airport, Lukou International Airport, serves both national and international flights. In 2013, Nanjing Airport handled 15,011,792 passengers and 255,788.6 tons of freight. The airport currently has 85 routes to national and international destinations, which include Japan, Korea, Thailand, Malaysia, Singapore, United States and Germany. The airport is connected by a 29-kilometre highway directly to the city centre, and is also linked to various intercity highways, making it accessible to the passengers from the surrounding cities. A railway Ningao intercity line has been built to link the airport with Nanjing South Railway Station. Lukou Airport was opened on 28 June 1997, replacing Nanjing Dajiaochang Airport as the main airport serving Nanjing. Dajiaochang Airport is still used as a military air base. Nanjing has another airport, Nanjing Ma'an International Airport which temporarily serves as a dual-use military and civil airport. Water The port of Nanjing is the largest inland port in China, with annual cargo tonnage reached 191,970,000 t in 2012. The port area is 98 kilometers 61 miles in length and has 64 berths including 16 berths for ships with a tonnage of more than 10,000. 
Nanjing is also the biggest container port along the Yangtze River. In March 2004, the 1 million container capacity base, Longton Containers Port area opened, further consolidating Nanjing as the leading port in the region. As of 2010, it operated six public ports and three industrial ports. The Yangtze River's 12.5 meter deep waterway enables 50,000 ton class ocean ships directly arrive at the Nanjing port, and the ocean ships with the capacities of 100,000 tons or above can also reach the port after load reduction in the Yangtze River's high tide period. CSC Jinling has a large shipyard. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Yangtze River crossings. In the 1960s, the first Nanjing Yangtze River bridge was completed, and served as the only bridge crossing over the Lower Yangtze in eastern China at that time. The bridge was a source of pride and an important symbol of modern China, having been built and designed by the Chinese themselves following failed surveys by other nations and the reliance on and then rejection of Soviet expertise. Begun in 1960 and opened to traffic in 1968, the bridge is a two-tiered road and rail design spanning 4,600 meters on the upper deck, with approximately 1,580 meters spanning the river itself. Since then four more bridges and two tunnels have been built. Going in the downstream direction, the Yangtze crossings in Nanjing are, Dashengguan Bridge, Line 10 Metro Tunnel, Third Bridge, Nanjing Yangtze River Tunnel, Nanjing Jiangjiang Sui Dao First Bridge, Second Bridge and Fourth Bridge, Nanjing Yangtze Tunnel, Nanjing Yangtze Jiangsui. In the near future, such Yangtze crossings will be added as follow: Jianning West Road Tunnel, Xiangsan Road Tunnel, Haiyan Road Tunnel, Fifth Nanjing Yangtze Bridge. Topic: Culture and Art. Being one of the four ancient capitals of China, Nanjing has always been a cultural center attracting intellectuals from all over the country. In the Tang and Song dynasties, Nanjing was a place where poets gathered and composed poems reminiscent of its luxurious past. During the Ming and Qing dynasties, the city was the official imperial examination center Jiangnan Examination Hall for the Jiangnan region, again acting as a hub where different thoughts and opinions converged and thrived. Today, with a long cultural tradition and strong support from local educational institutions, Nanjing is commonly viewed as a city of culture and one of the more pleasant cities to live in China. Art Some of the leading art groups of China are based in Nanjing, they include the Qianzhan Dance Company, Nanjing Dance Company, Jiangsu Peking Opera Institute and Nanjing Xiaonghua Art Company among others. Jiangsu Province Kun Opera is one of the best theaters for Kunk, China's oldest stage art. It is considered a conservative and traditional troupe. Nanjing also has professional opera troupes for the Yang, Yue, Shaoxing, Xi and Jing, Chinese opera varieties, as well as Suzhou Pingtan, spoken theater and puppet theater. Jiangsu Art Gallery is the largest gallery in Jiangsu Province, presenting some of the best traditional and contemporary art pieces of China, like the historical master Ho Kan. Many other smaller scale galleries, such as Red Chamber Art Garden and Jinling Stone Gallery, also have their own special exhibitions. Topic. Festivals Many traditional festivals and customs were observed in the old times, which included climbing the city wall on January 16, bathing in King Shi on March 3, hill hiking on September 9 and others the dates are in Chinese lunar calendar. Almost none of them, however, are still celebrated by modern Nanjingese. Instead, Nanjing, as a tourist destination, hosts a series of government-organized events throughout the year. The annual International Plum Blossom Festival held in Plum Blossom Hill, the largest plum collection in China, attracts thousands of tourists both domestically and internationally. Other events include Nanjing Bima Peach Blossom and Kite Festival, Jiangxin Zhou Fruit Festival and Linggu Temple Sweet Osmanthus Festival. <laughs> <laughs> Libraries Nanjing Library, founded in 1907, houses more than 10 million volumes of printed materials and is the third largest library in China, after the National Library in Beijing and Shanghai Library. Other libraries, such as city-owned Jinling Library and various district libraries, also provide considerable amount of information to citizens. Nanjing University Library is the second largest university libraries in China after Peking University Library, and the fifth largest nationwide, especially in the number of precious collections. Topic. Museums 
Nanjing has some of the oldest and finest museums in China. Nanjing Museum, formerly known as National Central Museum during Rock period, is the first modern museum and remains as one of the leading museums in China having 400,000 items in its permanent collection. The museum is notable for enormous collections of Ming and Qing imperial porcelain, which is among the largest in the world. Other museums include the City Museum of Nanjing in the Chaoshan Palace, the Oriental Metropolitan Museum, the China Modern History Museum in the Presidential Palace, the Nanjing Massacre Memorial Hall, the Taiping Kingdom History Museum, Jiangning Imperial Silk Manufacturing Museum, Nanjing Yunjin Museum, Nanjing City Wall Cultural Museum, Nanjing Customs Museum in Ganshi House, Nanjing Astronomical History Museum, Nanjing Paleontological Museum, Nanjing Geological Museum, Nanjing Riverstones Museum, and other museums and memorials such as Zhenghe Memorial Jin for modern calligraphers memorial topic theater most of nanjing's major theaters are multi-purpose used as convention halls cinemas musical halls and theaters on different occasions the major theaters include the people's convention hall and the nanjing arts and culture center the capital theater well known in the past is now a museum in theater film Nightlife Traditionally Nanjing's nightlife was mostly centered around Nanjing Fuzhimiao area along the Qinhuai River, where night markets, restaurants and pubs thrived. Boating at night in the river was a main attraction of the city. Thus, one can see the statues of the famous teachers and educators of the past not too far from those of the courtesans who educated the young men in the other arts. In the past 20 years, several commercial streets have been developed, hence the nightlife has become more diverse. There are shopping malls opening late in the Shinjeku CBD and Hunan Road. The well established Nanjing 1912 district hosts a wide variety of recreational facilities ranging from traditional restaurants and western pubs to dance clubs. There are two major areas where bars are densely located one is in 1912 block, the other is along Shanghai Road and its neighborhood. Local people still very much enjoy street food, such as lamb kebabs. As elsewhere in Asia, karaoke is popular with both young and old crowds. <inaudible> <inaudible> food and symbolism Many of the city's local favorite dishes are based on ducks, including Nanjing salted duck, duck blood and vermicelli soup, and duck oil pancake. The radish is also a typical food representing people of Nanjing, which has been spread through word of mouth as an interesting fact for many years in China. According to Nanjing.gov.cn, there is a long history of growing radish in Nanjing especially the southern suburb. In the spring, the radish tastes very juicy and sweet. It is well known that people in Nanjing like eating radish and the people are even addressed as Nanjing Big Radish, which means they are unsophisticated, passionate and conservative. From health perspective, eating radish can help to offset the stodgy food that people take during the Spring Festival. <laughs> Sports and stadiums Nanjing's planned 20,000-seat Youth Olympic Sports Park Gymnasium will be one of the venues for the 2019 FIBA Basketball World Cup. As a major Chinese city, Nanjing is home to many professional sports teams. Jiangsu Suning FC, the football club currently staying in Chinese Super League, is a long-term tenant of Nanjing Olympic Sports Center. Jiangsu Nangang Basketball Club is a competitive team which has long been one of the major clubs fighting for the title in China top-level league, CBA. Jiangsu volleyball men and women teams are also traditionally considered as at top level in China Volleyball League. There are two major sports centers in Nanjing, Wataishan Sports Center and Nanjing Olympic Sports Center. Both of these two are comprehensive sports centers, including stadium, gymnasium, natatorium, tennis court, etc. Wataishan Sports Center was established in 1952 and it was one of the oldest and most advanced stadiums in early time of People's Republic of China. Nanjing hosted the 10th National Games of PRC in 2005 and hosted the second Summer Youth Olympic Games in 2014. In 2005, in order to host the 10th National Game of People's Republic of China, there was a new stadium, Nanjing Olympic Sports Center, constructed in Nanjing. Compared to Wataishan Sports Center, which the major stadium's capacity is 18,500, Nanjing Olympic Sports Center has a more advanced stadium which is big enough to seat 60,000 spectators. 
Its gymnasium has capacity of 13,000, and natatorium of capacity 3,000. On 10 February 2010, the 122nd IOC session at Vancouver announced Nanjing as the host city for the second Summer Youth Olympic Games. The slogan of the 2014 Youth Olympic Games was, Share the Games, Share Our Dreams. The Nanjing 2014 Youth Olympic Games featured all 28 sports on the Olympic program and were held from 16 to 28 August. The Nanjing Youth Olympic Games Organizing Committee worked together with the International Olympic Committee to attract the best young athletes from around the world to compete at the highest level. Off the competition fields, an integrated culture and education program focused on discussions about education, Olympic values, social challenges, and cultural diversity. The YOG aims to spread the Olympic spirit and encourage sports participation. Topic. Architecture The city is recognized for its wide variety of architectures which mainly contain buildings from the Imperial Period, Republic of China Period and Contemporary Age. Topic. Imperial Period Topic. Inside the walled city City Wall of Nanjing Nanjing Chengkiang Gate of China Zhonghuamen Zhonghuamen Fuzhimiao Confucius Temple and Qinghuai River Nanjing Fu Zimiao Qinghuai He Jiangnan Examination Hall Jiangnan Gong Yuan Zanyuan Garden Zanyuan Old Gate East Lao Mendong Lao Mendong to Oye Ferry Tao Yidu Ming Palace Site Minggu Gong Zhu Garden Zhu Yuan Jiming Temple, Jiming Si Beiji Ge, Beiji Ge Drum Tower of Nanjing, Nanjing Gu Lu Chaoshan Palace, Chaoqian Gong Stone City, Shi Tu Cheng Yu Jiang Tower, Yue Jiang Lu Jinghai Temple, Jinghai Topic: Outside the Walled City, Purple Mountain Scenic Area. Zijin Shan Ming Shaoling Mausoleum and its surrounding complex, Ming Xiao Ling Linggu Temple, Linggu Si Shanwu Lake, Xuan Wu Hu Kixia Temple, Qi Chia Si The Porcelain Pagoda of Nanjing, restored, Da Bao and Si Lu Li Ta Moku Lake and Park, Mo Chu Hu Yangshan Quarry, Yangshan Bei Kai Southern Tang Mausoleums, Nan Tang Erling Republic of China period Because it was designated as the national capital, many structures were built around that time. Here is a short list. Inside the walled city Former Presidential Palace of Republic of China Zhonghua Min Guozong Tongfu Juji Former National Assembly Building of Republic of China Guomin Da Hui Tang Juji Former Central Government of Rock Building Group along Enjongshan Road Zhongshan Bei Lu Guomin Zheng Fu Jian Zhu Kun Former Central Committee of KMT Buildings Zhong Guo Guomin Dang Zhong Yang Dang Bu Juji Former Foreign Embassies in Gulu Area Gulu Shi Guan Ku Juji Nanking Officials Residence Cluster along Yihe Road Yihe Lu Gong Guan Ku Former National Central Museum Guo Li Zhong Yang Bo Wu Yuan Juji Former National Art Gallery Building Guo Li Mei Shu Chen Lai Guan Juji Former Central Radio of KMT Building Zhong Yang Guang Bo Dian Tai Juji Da Hua Theatre Da Hua Dian Ying Yuan Former Academia Sinica Buildings Guo Li Zhong Yang Yan Ju Yuan Juji Former National Central University Buildings at Sipai Lu Guo Li Zhong Yang Da Zhu Juji Former University of Nanking Buildings Jinling Da Zhu Juji Former Ginling College Buildings Jinling New Zi Wenli Zhu Yuan Juji Former Republic of China Military Academy Buildings Zhongyang Lu Jun Jun Guan Zhu Xiao Juji Former Bank of China Nanking Branch Building Zhongguo Yinzing Nanjing Fenzing Juji Former Bank of Communications Nanking Branch Building Zhao Tong Yinzing Nanjing Fenzing Juji Former Central Bank of Rock Nanking Branch Building Zhongyang Yinzing Nanjing Fenzing Juji Former Maclin Hospital Buildings Gulu Hospital Ma Lin Yi Yuan Juji Former Central Hospital Buildings 
Guo Li Zhong Yang Yi Yuan Juji Street. Paul's Church, Sheng Bao Luo Tang Central Hotel, Zhong Yang Fan Dian Former Capital Hotel, Huajiang Hotel, Shou Dao Fan Dian Huaji Ang Fan Dian Yangtze Hotel, Yangzi Fan Dian Lijish Buildings, Li Ji. Topic: Outside the Walled City. Sun Yat-sen Mausoleum and its surrounding area. Zhongshan Ling National Revolutionary Army Memorial Cemetery. Guo Mingge Mingjunzhen Wangjiang Shigong Mu Aviation Martyrs of World War II Memorial Cemetery. Hong Kong Lai Shigong Mu National Purple Mountain Observatory. Guo Li Zijin Shan Chan Wen Tai Former Central Stadium. Zhongyang Ti Yu Chang Juji Nanjing Botanical Garden, Memorial Sun Yat-sen. Zhongshan Ji Wu Yun. Topic: People's Republic of China period. Yu Huatai Memorial Park of Revolutionary Martyrs. Yu Huatai Nanjing Yangtze River Bridge. Nanjing Zhangji Ang Da Qiao Memorial Hall of the Victims in Nanjing Massacre by Japanese Invaders. Nanjing Da Tu Sha Yu Nan Tong Bao Ji Nian Guan Jinling Hotel. Jinling Fan Dian Zifeng Tower. Zifeng Da. Education The educational center of southern China for more than 1,700 years, Nanjing has a large range of prestigious higher education institutions and research institutes and a large student population. Nanjing is ranked the 88th QS Best Student City in 2019. Nanjing University is considered to be one of the top national universities nationwide. According to the QS Higher Education Top Ranking University, Nanjing University is ranked the seventh university in China, and 122nd overall in the world as of 2019. Southeast University is also among the most famous universities in China and is considered to be one of the best universities for architecture in the country. Many universities in Nanjing have satellite campuses or have moved their main campus to Zhanlin University City in the eastern suburb. Some of the other biggest national universities in Nanjing are the educational center of southern China for more than 1,700 years, the city has a large range of prestigious higher education institutions and research institutes and a large student population. Private universities and colleges, such as Communication University of China, Nanjing and Hopkins Nanjing Center are also located in the city. Some notable high schools in Nanjing are, Nanjing Foreign Language School, high school affiliated to Nanjing Normal University, Jinling High School, Nanjing No. 1 High School, Nanjing Zhonghua High School, Caulfield Grammar School Nanjing Campus. <laughs> Sister cities Former sister cities Nagoya, Aichi, Japan suspended, ended on February 21, 2012 after Nanking Massacre denialist statements by then Nagoya's mayor, Takashi Kawamura. Notable people Enwa Gao, Chinese-British author See also Jiangnan List of cities in the People's Republic of China by population List of twin towns and sister cities in China Historical capitals of China City Wall of Nanjing Walled City of Nanjing Ming Palace Nanking Massacre The Rape of Nanking book, Treaty of Nanjing Nanjing Salted Duck Notes <laughs>